Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff Porter from the Indie Gamer Magazine. Today we're going to take a look at a, uh, a survival RPG called Keep Up Pirates. It released on December 11th uh, of last year, so it's about two months old. Uh, it does have a lot of positive reviews. This is developed by Wits Studio. Uh, so we're going to probably about 20-30 minutes uh, jump into this. Uh, so you are a pirate on an island survive alone or with other players and fight against enemy skeletons build a shelter and gather resources to ensure your survival a building crafting farming and cooking system will allow you to create great things your survival skills are in demand special features include a quest and skill system and much more the game also offers a free mode also known as creative mode here they are not limited and can realize their dreams of building so we're going to jump in here, we're going to do uh, just single player, uh, just regular, and we're going to do uh, a new game. I've done about 10 minutes just to kind of get my bearings. Uh, I'm still, <laughs> I still have no idea what any of, oh, oh, look at that. All right. So we have strength affects the base damage and carry weight. Agility increases critical damage and base armor. Stamina affects the uh, stock of maximum health and health regen. Intelligence affects the base damage to ore veins and trees when gathering, and luck affects the chance of critical damage. So I think we're going to jump straight into strength. We're going to get one there. Always, especially in a survival game, always good to have some extra carry weight. Now this one, um, I kind of want to lean towards maybe intelligence uh, for that gathering. Um... But I mean, some extra armor would be good. We're going to go intelligent. So we're going to be strong and intelligent. Uh, hair type. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just go. Sure. That looks good. Um, pants color. This is what we really need. I am whiter than white. So we'll go with that. So we'll jump in here. So like I said, I did about five or ten minutes uh, pre-recording, just kind of get my bearings. Um, I kind of have an idea of the uh, kind of what goes on in here. So uh, E to pick up uh, with like you know most games. So just picking up some crabs and flowers and stuff here. Uh, get that crab meat. Uh, so right away on the right hand side, it's a little hard to see with the yellow. Maybe you can see it right there on that rock. You have your active quest. So Mysterious Island, get to the big island, and then first steps, uh, they want us to collect stones and craft and equip a sharp stone. So, there's, you can't pick up these little pebbles. Um, there's a dead pirate right there. So there is another, here it is, another stone right there. Tab is your inventory, and here you can see you've got everything. And one so over here you've got your character you have your health energy level experience available skill points you have your uh, where you can spend your skill points and then you can get magic items which is really cool so uh, characteristics maximum health all that good stuff and then your uh, equipable armor and whatnot and then everything else is your inventory and crafting so I mean basically like every other uh, survival game so we've got three stones to make a sharp stone we're going to build that and you can see it's in the crafting queue equip whoops all right so now we've got our stone we're going to start beating this tree down to get some wood um the first time i didn't know if i was doing this right because it takes quite a bit which makes sense you know you got a big sharp stone you're trying to beat down a tree it's going to take a minute so We'll sit here for a minute and uh, break down this tree. You can see we're doing six, eight, seven. There it goes. Uh, oh, some coconuts. Uh, kind of losing it in the bush. Okay, it looks like we got all the wood. We've got some fibers. Now we need stones. Uh, so we are going to have to head over to uh, that island. You can see over here, got some uh, some shipwrecks. So right away, I like the aesthetic of this. I think it looks it looks good. Uh, it's very smooth. 
no problems with movement or anything. It's easy to get around, pick stuff up. You can swim, which is really cool. So we're going to make our way over here. We're going to pick up some more uh, stone. What is that? Water jar. That's got to be good, right? Uh, some gold coins. Rum, huh? What does rum do? Can be used in the hot bar. Favorite drink of pirates. This one restores health and quenches thirst. Really? That's not how rum works. Water jar. Um, same thing. So uh, rum is better than water. I mean, makes sense. You're a pirate. I get it. I'm, I'm with it. Uh, so here's a stone. Is that a rat? Can we can we kill it? Oh, we just press E on it. We don't even have to kill it. Okay, uh, pick up some more stone. It's just decoration. More starfish. Is that more rum? Hey, all right. Um, so we're still looking for, there's some stone. Alright, uh, first steps updated. Uh, craft another sharp stone. Yes. Collect cloth. Can we craft it? We can. Three fibers. Alright. I don't remember how we got fiber. Maybe it's this? Uh, we picked up four of them somehow. Problem is, I don't... Oh, okay, the little flowers. These little red flowers give us fiber. Okay. Uh, craft stone hatchet and a stone pickaxe. Uh, so again, nothing groundbreaking. You know, very survival RPG. Um, don't really have to stray far from that to uh, get your player base interest... Uh, There we go. So now we will have our pickaxe and our axe. That bothers me. We'll put the axe first. I don't know why that bothers me. All right, so we've got some raw meat, raw crab meat. So it does have a decay timer. Uh, that's cool. 291 seconds until that. So let's see if we can make a... Uh, the fire is nine stone and four wood. Uh, right now it wants us to collect wood and stone, so probably for that very reason. See if we can break these down now with a pickaxe. Not doing any damage. Let's check with the trees. Okay, see, now we're doing a bunch of damage to the trees. So I wonder what the pickaxe is for. That's interesting. Uh, but the good thing is that it does drop coconuts, and I think coconuts is probably pretty good. Hopefully we don't get hit in the head by a coconut, that would suck. And so like I said, you can play this with friends, it is online. Um, and this is completely free, by the way. Uh, so the link is in the description below. You can definitely check it out, download it. I don't think it was that big of a download. And uh, you can hop on with some friends, and or you could just play by yourself like I'm doing. Uh, either way. Um, we've got lots of wood. Why isn't it updating? Okay, that's kind of weird. So there's farming corn seeds uh, you can use. Spoiled coconut. Coconuts go bad. So actually, we might start using some of these. Um, okay, right. Okay, so here's something I don't like. For your heart, hot bar at the bottom, you cannot scroll to select uh, something else. You got to actually push the, the number key. That's not my favorite. I wish you could scroll. Uh, but, I mean, it's not a huge issue, just uh, more of a personal thing. 
Still can't figure out exactly what this pickaxe is for. So I'm still having to pick up stones, which is not ideal. Luckily there are plenty. Okay, so here we go. Yep, craft and place a campfire. Oh no, we got 20 seconds. We don't need the rat meat. Spilled crab meat. Okay, so it needs wood. We'll turn it on. We'll try... Okay, so you just drag it over to the campfire, your raw meat, and it starts the, uh, the timer. And we're seeing what cooks and what doesn't, you never know. So we still have a gold plate, luxurious little thing, expensive. That's expensive, guys. Oh, I'm burning it now. I see, I see, I see. So, we've got our cooked crab meat. You can see 260 seconds till it expires. Um, instantly, you get, I think that's energy. Yeah, it must be energy points and uh, hunger. You get plus 5% HP and plus 15% hunger over 10 seconds. Take our wood back. I keep doing that. You gotta press tab to exit. So we've got that. Um, so now what's it want? Oh, we need to cook one more crab meat. Let's go catch one of these. And not burn it this time. Oh, wood. So this time we'll turn it off before it... Uh, burns anything. I burned that one anyway. That must be, I wonder if it's based on a skill I think it was. Okay, so now we got that. So, eat a coconut and eat cr cooked crab meat. Can we do it from your inventory or do we got to equip it? Looks like we got to equip it. So, we'll eat two of these. We'll put the lime in the coconut. Uh-oh. What's that guy doing? Collect fiber. Wood. Cloth, so more fiber. So we gotta look for those little red flowers like these. Okay, and now craft three cloth. While we're crafting these, let's look at so we can get building plans. We can build twig tier structures. We have a workbench, a bed, which is probably a good thing to make, furnace, a mortar. Totem is used for claiming land. Simple chest, wooden door, a key to uh, access your door. That's cool. I do like that. That's pretty neat. Simple lock door, simple door lock. Cool, cool. I like that. Wooden window. There's a club, a spear, broken shovel. Why would you want that? Can be used as a weapon. <laughs> okay. Uh, a huge two handed club, a starfish axe. Okay, a uh, bone hammer, bone pole arm. There's your bow. A bone crossbow. That's pretty cool. Got your flint arrows. A uh, simple repair kit. 
wooden hat, rope pants, rope gloves, rope shoes, cloth bag. Sturdy cloth bag used for storing and carrying extra items that don't fit in your pockets. That's cool. And you can make a backpack. So good base right there for the crafting. It's, there's a lot. And then I'm sure like the workbench and the furnace probably, they probably open up uh, more stuff. So that's, I think that's pretty good. All right, so we still need, there we go. All right, so speak of the devil it wants us to craft, uh, craft the armor. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, pants, gloves, shoes. I'll start with that. We'll go over here. Let's try this rock. There we go. We can break this rock. Iron ore. Alright. So we got ore and rock out of this. Is that flint? And flint. Okay. Okay, so we can't break down boulders like this. Uh, but these weird looking rocks like this we can break down. Oh, you can see the ore in them. I see, I see. Okay. I do wish you could just like hold E and pick stuff up. But, you know, it's the little things. Still got some more in there, huh? Another piece of iron. Okay, craft. Oh, and equip. Here we go. Right click. Easy peasy. Wow, got lots of flint. Look at that. 43 flint, 29 iron, 45 stone. A lot of stuff in those, in those uh, little rocks right there. Let's get this one, too. That's... That's good. That's a lot more. And I'm sure our uh, our intellect. I, I don't know how much more we get from the intellect, but that's got to be a big bonus, I would. Uh, or maybe not a big bonus, but maybe, you know, a decent, decent amount. Okay. Um, craft and equip any weapon. All right, so what weapon do we want to use? What do we have? We do a huge club. We don't have any bones. I kind of want to do the starfish axe, but we don't have planks, do we? Yeah, we just have wood. Can we craft planks? I don't see planks. I would go and craft the workbench and do all that stuff right now, but... I feel like they're probably leading us on a quest for that. I feel like they probably want to uh, take us through this one thing at a time. So I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to wait a minute. Um, so more fiber, more, wow, lots of wood. Um, but now we got the axe. And uh, we can get fiber pretty easily. So already you can see right off the bat, there is a lot of gathering, uh, but you know, that's part of, oh, there's uh, what, planks? One plank. That's not gonna grog. Favorite drink of pirates. This one restores health and quenches thirst better than rum. Okay. All right. Um, for now, I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna drop this just because it's kinda taking up space. Um, I dropped, I don't know if we're going to get to farming in this video, so I just kind of dropped those. Uh, but let's chop down some trees. Probably do about another 10 or 15 minutes to get through some of these quests. Um, but you can kind of get an idea for uh, what to expect. I just picked all that stuff up that I dropped initially. That's all right. Probably gonna have to make a repair kit or a new ax, whichever's cheaper.
So far, I could... Uh, honestly, I could see myself getting into something like this. Maybe I'll do a part two of this one. Um, because survival games do take a while to get started, there's a lot you gotta go through. A lot of crafting, a lot of collecting, before you actually get to do, I guess, quote-unquote, the fun stuff. Um... Ah, uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so what was the, uh... There was a repair thing. Simple repair kit. Six wood, cloth, and iron. Wow. Six wood, cloth, and iron. Or three wood and two... What was it? One sharp stone. Yeah, so why not just do that? Get rid of those spoiled coconuts. So let's do a uh, sharp stone, um, a cloth, and we'll just make a new stone hatchet. Daddy? That seems easier. What's up? Something's wrong with the TV. All right. I'll be up there in a minute. They can't get the TV to work. Oh no! That was my oldest daughter. She's very concerned about the TV right now. Am I still... There we go. That was weird. Alright, so I need one more tree. And uh, we still need a little bit of wood. So... I don't know if we're going to get 18 wood from another tree, but we'll see. going to need some water here shortly, too. Alright, so you can see we still need 5 wood. I'm sure I'm probably missing some. Oh no, there we go. Okay. So we're going to go over here we can kind of see things better. So, craft a building plan for 15 fiber and a mallet. Then we are going to uh, drink some of this water. Our water is at 49. So. So we're going to do that. We're also going to go check out the pier. We're going to go do that. I think that's right here. So we're going to run over and do that real quick. Got about 10 minutes. Find a way to leave the island. Well, I'm sure that's this thing right here, huh? Daddy, my finger's gonna bleed. Why is your finger gonna bleed? Mm -hmm. That's not. There's nothing there. Oh, you're crazy. Well, I'm just a sailor. My name is... What? It doesn't matter at all. I don't care who you used to be or what you used to do. All that matters to me now is that you have the opportunity to prove yourself and earn some gold coins. Tell me about it. <clears throat> there are too many scoundrels here. In colored pants standing by the fire. Go and find out what the slacker wants. <laughs> okay. There's a lot. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, right here. So, 50 gold for that dinner plate, huh? You want my spoiled coconut? What do you got? You got plank fuel. Fuel? Ian gets ancient knowledge for a oh, hundred coins? Might have to go find another plate. Mash. Used in alchemy. Rum, grog, bone leg, bone arm. <laughs> Please tell me that's a weapon. Yes! Alright, cloth, charcoal. Hey, a t-shirt. We can use a t-shirt. 
Yolo bana oh, bana bandana. I was like, yellow banana? A gold hat. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. 3,000 coins for a gold jacket, huh? Blue pants, dark leather pants, dark leather gloves. Yeah, so already, I, I'm. this is good content right here. This is good. Uh, I like that it's simple, but there's enough going on to keep you interested. Um, so we got a little shop there. Guy on the colored pants by the campfire, huh? I don't know where they all hide. You catch one and soon they're all back. How'd you get out of the dungeons? I have no idea. Morgan. My name is what? Uh, I plan to leave this island. Don't trust anyone, especially the merchant on the pier. There's something wrong with him. All right, already we're in the world of trauma. Greg. Greg has been on this island a bit too long. So let's hop out of here quick. Um, stranger. Things. I need to know the motives of the skeleton near the campfire. That's funny. All right, so let's see this. Let's um, so right button, open building menu, rotate, place. So let's see what we can do. Uh, stairs, wall right, wall left, triangle ceiling, ceiling, fence, window frame, door frame, wall, ramp, triangle foundation, foundation, half roof. Top triangle wall and roof. What's it want us to do? We build two foundations. Uh, yeah, where are we supposed to build all this stuff at? Looks like they kind of got their own thing going over here. I guess we could do it out here. Well, that'd be kind of cool, like right on the uh, right on the water. This is a nice little spot right here. We'll do it right here. Maybe. Let's see, and this is the, the the deal breaker here. Let's see how this goes. See how well the clipping is. Okay, that's not terrible. They want us to build a ramp. Um, so we'll try to... Okay, a uh, door frame. any walls so we need five more walls we'll put a window right here looking out at the sea and we'll put one right there and we'll do wall 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 and then two ceilings so the building is really pretty smooth everything kind of clipped together pretty well that wasn't uh yeah that didn't have any issues at all yeah that worked out really well I like how it looks. It looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, craft and place a totem, a door, and a simple lock. So let's get a door uh, in here. A wooden door. Craft that. So we'll get our little building here uh, all put together, and then we will... Um, uh, won't go there. There we go. And then we'll probably uh, close this one out for the day. Uh, simple lock. It doesn't craft into your hotbar, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then uh, place a totem. They could probably just certain there it is. Again, move that down a little bit. Cool. All right.
Friday then. I think that's where we're, we are going to end this video. So we kind of got, you know, a, a pretty basic look at uh, Keep Up Pirates. It is free. You can download it right now. Uh, we are about to die from hunger and uh, thirst. So let's drink some water. I really like it. Uh, I was not expecting it to be as much fun as it is. Oh, look at that. Some gold. Oh, cool. Gold coins everywhere. So, uh... I think the biggest thing is probably the building. I was building is difficult to get right. There's a lot of games that try it, and it just doesn't work out for whatever reason. Um, for that, for that little thing, it went together really easy. I really like the uh, how it how it clips together. I like the the quest. Uh, it kind of takes you on the first step quest, and then it's got some other things uh, going on there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm in for this. Uh, so we might continue to do this some more. So if you are interested, definitely let me know, and uh, we'll do like another part of this. Um, <laughs> so uh, the uh, kids are getting antsy themselves. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, let me know if this is something that you would want to see a part two of. I think I'd like to play it some more. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it so far. And the link is in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our Friday giveaway. And my kids say hi. Talk to you later.